Hello there and welcome to my channel. This is Nongon and today we're playing NASCAR Heat 5 on the PS4. This is the final part of a five part series, so chapter five, uh, on getting all of the trophies, a full platinum walkthrough. Uh, it's a dual purpose. One's to supplement the guide that I'm doing on PlayStationTrophies.org. So if you came from there, thanks for checking it out. The other purpose is I'm doing a speed platinum run for PlayStation profiles. And uh, I'll be doing that tomorrow. So I won't actually finish all of the uh, voiceover and everything for this until I'm done with that run. But uh, if you're checking it out, hopefully these strategies will help you either meet or improve on my times. Uh, but yeah, we sh we're coming to the end here. If you've uh, followed in order, we've done all the trophies for quick race, multiplayer, the miscellaneous stuff. We've done all of career mode at this point. We've done all of challenge mode. All that's left is to clean up a couple of things in race mode. And uh, I'll show you the trophies that we're trying to get here. So there's a bunch of these uh, win a race, win 10, 26, 49, all the way down to 200. We are somewhere between 26 and 49. Um, you may be more if you've done more races. It is a racing game, so we're skipping an awful lot of this game. So obviously you bought it. Enjoy it. If you've won more races than that, that's great. Then we have the 25, 50, and 100%. These are not stackable. You have to do three separate races, one with each of those constraints, and we'll do that first. And, uh, and of course you get one for completing and one for winning. So those two will pop at the same time. And then you have to race at every track and win at every dirt road, short track, speedway, super speedway. We already got in career mode cause that's just Daytona and Talladega, but that should be all the trophies left. We're going to get all of those and then I'll finish off with the platinum and we'll say goodbye. So, uh, let's go ahead and get started. Um, the first thing we're going to do is go into, uh, options and change our race length. And we're going to change it to a hundred percent. And I like to do this first, uh, just because I know it doesn't stack. So you won't get the trophy for 50 and 25, but I just have this weird feeling like maybe one of these days it'll glitch and I'll get them and not have to do the two separate races. I don't know why. Uh, <laughs> I'm just weird that way. I guess the shortest races in the game to do these on are going to be dirt tour. In addition, there's no tire wear and there's no fuel. So you don't have to worry about pitting. Uh, Drebin is the quickest course. If you want to get this over with quickly, I suggest you do Drebin. And you, of course, can skip practice and you can definitely skip qualifying. You're going to lap the field at least 10 times in this race. So it doesn't matter if that you start in the back. And here we are coming around the first corner of the last lap. We've uh, lapped the field, I don't know, 10, 11, 12 times. We're so much faster than all the other cars because we got all the difficulty turned down. But there you go. First place in a 100% length race. And the trophy will pop when you go back to the screen and it updates your wins right there. So uh, there you go. We got both. Sorry, I forgot there was one for completing and one for winning on this one. So there you go. Now we're going to go into quick race settings again. Go down here to race length, switch it to 50, save it and go right back into Drebin and do another 50 laps. And I'll see you then. And there we go. First place in the 50 lap version, 50% distance. And as you're updating your races, see it goes up to three and you get ready to go. That's for the 50%. Go right into quick race settings, change the distance to 25 and go right back into Drebin and start again. And that does it for the 25. And once that trophy pops for the 25%, we're going to go back into quick race settings and switch this all the way down as low as it'll, it'll let us go, which is 2%. And that's where we're going to keep it for the rest of the time. So this takes us to part two of the three parts in this video, which is winning at every track. Uh, there's a trophy for winning at all the super speedways, speedways, short tracks, road courses, and dirt tracks. And as long as we're in dirt track, let's go ahead and knock those out. Uh, I've got this uh, super fancy checklist that I use that I made. Um, I got the typed ones from a, a Reddit post, I think, or a website. And I got the uh, dirt ones just from straight writing them down out of the menu. There are 39 tracks that you uh, need to win at to get all the trophies. Nine of them are dirt tracks and 30 of them are uh, road courses or paved tracks. 
Uh, if you look in the truck series, there are 31 races you could do. Eldora is the extra one. That's a dirt track that you can run trucks on. But if you run the truck series and run all the way down the list, you'll get all 30 of the uh, street courses you need to do. But we're going to go ahead and do dirts first. And I'm going to chat, talk with you just a little bit. Again, this is a dual purpose video. And for those of you that are not looking to speed platinum this, I got a couple of tips for you. Um, when you get into this area, uh, you will be, uh, of course, this, these are only two laps. So be cognizant of that. We're skipping qualifying on the hopes that we're good enough to get to the front of the pack. Um, and with the settings that I have, you shouldn't have any problem, but you can't be totally stupid either. You can't be crashing and, and spinning and all that stuff or else you will be wasting time. But anyway, if you're not interested in doing the speed version of this, if you just want to enjoy yourself and have a relatively easy go of it, uh, I suggest that when you finish a race like this, skip the burnout, go into continue and uh, skip through this and then at this screen right here hit triangle and hit race again and uh, what that'll do is allow you to complete another race and another win without going into the loading screens back to the menu and into the loading sc screen to the thing and i suggest you do that for each of these tracks two or three times and uh, I'll explain why in the third part, but the short version is you have to ultimately win 200 races. And if you followed my guide so far, you're nowhere near that. Uh, it is going to be unbelievably boring running the same track 160 times. So if you want to save some, some uh, drama and keep from having to go loading screens every race, just hit that triangle and hit race again on some of these. And uh, it will uh, save your sanity just a little bit. But uh, if you are doing a speed platinum, of course, you don't want to do that because you want to do whatever the fastest race is and just repeat that. And we will be doing that later. So at the moment, uh, I currently have uh, just Jefferson, Richmond, and Texas to do. So I'll see you at the end of that and we'll be done with the dirt tracks. So there you go. We finished Texas and you see the Dirt King trophy popped for winning at every race. And uh, I did want to make a note that uh, these are popping at, when you go back out to the race, which means you could probably do like 30 more races and it won't pop and you'll think it glitched. But if you come back out and don't restart races, it should pop when you get back to the thing. So we very quietly switched over to the truck series. Excuse me. We very quietly switched over to the truck series here. And uh, if you count down here, you'll see there are 31 races you could do in truck. It's 30 and then Eldora. You don't have to do that one. But if you run all of these, you see I got one win. I've done a few of these already just to prep for the video. Um, and uh, we're going to go ahead and work on, uh, I don't know, let's do uh, road courses. So I still have Watkins Glen. So while that's loading, I'm going to uh, give a little bit of advice to the Speed Plat folks out there. Um, if you want to do the whole run as quickly as possible, you want to be cognizant of your checklist and your 39 tracks and do victories at different tracks whenever possible. So that means uh, when you do career mode, you have to win 22 times or 21 times to get through all the four seasons of career mode. Try to do those on 21 different tracks. I know the championships is at Phoenix every year, so you have to you have to win that one multiple times. But if you uh, use the ranges of the winning in each of the rounds, you can actually get, I think, like 18 different tracks, 17 or 18 out of the way of those 39. Make sure you do, when you do multiplayer, uh, don't do the same track 10 times. Do 10 different tracks that you have not done yet on career mode. Uh, split screen will add you another one. Those count as well. And uh, yeah, I think that's pretty much it. The challenges do not count, unfortunately. So just keep that in mind that you have to, whatever you do in challenge mode, it doesn't count as a victory for these purposes. But uh, by doing that alone, you should be pretty close to 30 by the time you get to this grind it out stage. So you only got to run the other nine tracks, even though it might not record in your particular series, it is recording for the tracks. So, um, and of course, if you get confused and it doesn't pop when you think it does, just run all of these on, uh, on the truck series. It won't cost you that much time because you're gonna have to win 
uh, 200 races here in part three of this video. And uh, if you have to replay some of these, uh, you're only losing by the loading screen plus the amount of time it takes to do the course, which as you see is only like a minute or two. So hopefully uh, if you did lose track of it, you can get back on track that way. So uh, that's my advice. Let's go ahead and finish up Watkins Glen and we should get another trophy when we go back to the uh, menu. And there we go, Road Warrior. Let's go ahead and do the short tracks. I knocked out, uh, so what you've got is uh, Bristol, Iowa, Martinsville, Phoenix, and Richmond are the short tracks. I don't think I listed all the road courses, so that's Canadian Tire, Charlotte Roval, Indy Roval, Mid-Ohio, Road America, Sonoma, and Watkins Glen. Uh, so the only one I have left is Iowa, so I'm gonna go ahead and knock that out, and I'll be right back. And there's short and sweet for all the short tracks. So that only leaves the speedways, which I'm not gonna list every single one. It's everything on this list that we didn't already mention. And again, Daytona and Talladega are super speedway category. They get their own trophy. We won during career mode, both of those tracks. So we already got that out of the way. The ones I got left are New Hampshire, Pocono, and uh, WWT Raceway. So I'm gonna run races on those three and then we'll be back for, for the next part of this video. And there we go. That's it for the speedways. And that is uh, for completing a race at every course. Uh, so that's part two of the video. That's how you get all the wins at all the tracks. Now I'm going to go all the way back out and show you where we're at. So uh, the only trophies we have left are for winning up to 200 races. 70, I, we just finished 49, which is, uh, I believe the career total of Vol well, Smoke would be uh, Tony Stewart. Um, this would be Dale and Jeff Gordon and Richard Petty. That is their career win totals in case you're interested in that kind of thing. So anyway, uh, I bring that up because we are at sitting pretty at 49 wins, a whopping 49 wins. And that was, that was with all the testing and everything. And that means before we can turn this game off for good, we have to win 151 more races. And we have to do it, in our case, if you're going for a speed plat, you gotta do it as quickly as possible. So I'm gonna show you how to do that. But I suggest, if you don't care about speed, that you enjoy the game. We've barely even used a NASCAR car. Um, <laughs> so, you know, play the game, enjoy the game, just win some races. If you are on quick race with easy settings, you don't even have to qualify. You'll be first place after like the first two turns in any race you run. And, uh, heck who knows if you want to do another career mode or not simulate all of them, you're welcome to do that. Again, I'm just trying to get you the most efficient way possible so you can skip and, uh, move through the game at your own pace and enjoy what you like to enjoy. But 151 races in a row at the same track is going to be a drag. Fortunately, we do not have to do all of the loading screens that are associated with it. And I'll show you how to do that. So we're going to come into Drebin, of course, our favorite uh, speed track here and skip practice and skip qualifying and just start. And it's going to be a two lap race. And you do have to pay attention because you got to get to the front within the first two laps or else you've wasted that race. And again, it's only about a 30 second race. So you see like we've got into somebody there. So we got to be real careful. Um, but if you stay to the inside, usually there's enough room. And you see by the first lap, we're already done. And we are half a second uh, short of a good time on that one. So uh, you will, when you do this 150 times, you will get used to it. Plus, you know, if you followed my advice, you already did almost 200 laps on this track as it is. So there you go. First place, right? Go in, wait for the speed rating to come up, skip the burnout, go to continue, get through your trophy presentation, go through here, and then click triangle for race again. And once again, we skip practice, skip qualifying, start right up. And we're right back in it. And as you see, after 30 more seconds, we'll win our second race and we're going to rinse and repeat that. Now, the one caution that I will give you is that it is not recording your victories until you go back out to the menu, which is why I brought it up in the last part. Um, so if the game crashes or... Uh, decides to be dumb with the trophies or whatever it is, uh, you'll definitely lose whatever you had done in this session. So periodically, I suggest you go back out, suck it up and take the, take the hit on the loading screen because it'll be a lot better than having to redo all these races. But uh, I do about every 10, I think, because that's, I don't know, like 
five minutes each. And that seems like a good good thing to bank. And then if I'm getting close, like, so we're at uh, 49, um, I'll probably do 10 and then like another 10 to get to 69, nice. And then I'll probably come back out after eight because that's the next trophy. And as I've mentioned many times before, this game is kind of stingy and, and forgetful about when it's time to give you trophies. So I like to do that on my actual race number to make sure that I didn't uh, miss it. And then if the trophy doesn't pop, I can close it out, save to USB, go back in, win another race, and hopefully get that to pop as we go. So you kind of kind of keep an eye on it. But I think I've talked enough about this. As you can see, it only takes like, I don't know, 45 seconds per cycle, even with the uh, skipping through the qualifying and starting the race and all that stuff. So you can uh, burn through these pretty quick. Uh, I'll let you know what my time is for a, a cycle of 10 of these because I'm going to do them right now. And so we're going to go ahead and bank those 10 wins and uh, exit to the menu. And that took uh, just about 12 minutes for 10 races. So it's uh, like a minute and six, I think, each cycle, including all the loading screens and the race time. So uh, that's where we're at. And as you see, it goes up from six to 17 and four to 15. Maybe I did 11 races in that time. Uh, and I'll back out here to show you uh, where we're at. You see, we went from 49 wins to 60. So I guess I did accidentally win 11 races. Um, but uh, now it's just rinse and repeat 14 more times at a cycle of 10. And that'll get you to 200. And I will see you when we get there. All right, so we're coming in here and we just finished up our 15th uh, round and cycle and we should be getting the trophy here for the 200 victories and because that's the last one there's the platinum so congratulations if you came from the guide on dot uh, org uh, thanks for checking it out hopefully it helped you get where you needed to go uh, hopefully my commentary isn't too off-putting feel free to send feedback uh, either in the comments or just reach out to me personally uh, i'm always open to i'm relatively new at youtube so uh, but i can't do no commentary videos i just don't I don't know. I can't describe it well enough without my voice. So, uh, thanks for bearing with me and thanks for watching. Those of you that are here for the Speed Platinums, this is the last segment in that. And uh, I'm about to do the run later tonight. So I'm adding up all the times to see kind of what, whether I'm, I'm intending to be competitive or how serious I got to be about it. Uh, this particular segment took me about 20 minutes to do the 50% and 25% races. Remember, the 100 is our bonus time, so the time that takes doesn't count. It took me about another 80 to finish up the uh, tracks, and that will mostly be gone because I didn't do multiplayer yet. I'm just estimating the time it would take, so I wouldn't have to do those tracks. And then I had to do almost just under three hours of uh, these two lap races to get to the 200. So we're going to call this segment five hours. So that means video two was one hour for the multiplayer and, and split screen. Career mode was five and a half, three and a half for uh, the four seasons you got to win and two for the ones you got to skip. So we're at six and a half, two hours for challenges, which I think can be improved on pretty well. Uh, so that's eight and a half and then five. So we're at a total time, uh, theoretical of 13 and a half hours, which is uh, what, seven, like five and a half hours faster than the current top time. So uh, I feel pretty comfortable that we'll be able to do that as long as I don't get bored and fall asleep which I have done before on these endurance runs. I do have to play the game for 13 hours straight. So, uh, you know, <laughs> wish me luck on that. Uh, and I got to do like three hours of the same race and two more hours of not even racing, just pressing triangle. So uh, it's kind of a mental test as well as a physical one, as well as a test of skill, I guess, planning for this. But uh, anyway, I've talked enough about that. If you came for that, uh, wish me luck through the miracle of modern technology. You'll already know what the results are because I'll post uh, what I did in the first video in this series. But if you watched all the way through to the rest of it, thank you very much for checking it out. Um, again, the contest is there. Watch the first video to see all about that. And uh, hopefully these times will help you uh, improve on it and you could be number one, one in the world at something. So uh, if that works out for you, that's great too. Either way, whoever came here and whoever's watched this, bad thank you to everybody. Thanks again to Mrs. Gone. I really appreciate it. Without her, I couldn't do any of this. So um, there we go. I would say she cooks for me, but today I'm cooking. So <laughs> it's, uh, but it's an easy meal. So anyway, I'm going to get started. And thanks again for checking it out. A big thanks to you for getting through the videos and, uh, and helping me out here. And uh, I will see you on the next game. I don't know what it's going to be, but I'll see you then. In the meantime, stay bad, people. Non-gone is gone.